everyone, my name is Angie and we are going to play The Deep. It's an RPG Maker game, but actually it was a commercial game, although I think I found when it was uh, on sale too. It was pretty like cheap. Um, I don't remember exact price right now, but it's it's not that bad. Actually, let me check how much does it cost at the moment um, on Steam. Because that's, that's what we do. So I can tell you guys right away. Uh, less than one euro. So, you know guys, that's, that's just a little bit. And uh, it looks really, really good. It looked very different than most RPG Maker games. And it looked like we are going to have a lot of fun. It kind of had some mystery, horroristic uh, themes there. So I thought it's perfect for my channel. New game, come on. Okay. Pilgrim Adventures. See, even sprites are different, which is amazing. And so, like, surrealistic avatars is amazing for me. My name is Darren Bruce, son of Malcolm Bruce and rightful heir to Daniel House. I have recently discovered that my tyrant of a father intends to disinherit me in favor of my deranged younger sister. Oh. My relationship with my family is strained, to say the least. I have decided that the time has come for my sister to be removed from this case to equ equation. I intend to put her out of her Oh! Oh snap! Snappy Snoop! That's some hardcore shit going right from the beginning. It hasn't been even like 5 minutes in game and you and we already know we are killing? My god! Unfortunately, my sister now leaves the confines of the Asha house, which makes the matter more complicated. I have not visited the family home in quite some time. I can't bear to be in that hell hole for long. However, my presence on the night of my father's 50th birthday will cause no suspicions. I must choose the timing and method of the deed very carefully. Tonight is the night. I go and it is done. The bell invites me. Well, that sounds interesting. Seven Hills, George, who has been responsible for maintaining the gardens. It used to be Big Jack Willis, sir. He's been dead almost a year now. I do a little here and there, can do much in a corner of my back that though. My sister has no fear to help you then. Miss Jennifer isn't really the alter type, sir. I know, George. It was a joke. Very funny, sir. Let's go inside before the ocean comes to dash you. Converse with your relatives and search the house for useful objects. Objects are divided into two categories, items of evidence and weapons. You will only be allowed to pick up two objects from around the house before dinner commences, so choose wisely. After dinner you will have the chance to plant an item of evidence if you wish, and then commit the murder. Evidence of what? My murder? I, I don't understand. Oh, that's someone else kid. Oh, that would be good. You can access your inventory by pressing escape or X on your keyboard. There are many ways to do the deed, but only the Tony will succeed. I feel like we're so going to fail because I'm not good at this times of games. Only if I can tell, my god! Okay, so that's... I feel like that goes are important so um 
if I give my code, I guess I lose uh, the chance of hiding some in pockets. But I would be weird if I didn't. So, sure. Yes, take this password thing of me. You're new, aren't you? Sophia is my name. I recognize you from your pictures, Mr. Aran. I'm not new exactly. I've been employed by a family for almost a year. It's just that you have never visited before. I have been busy. My work keeps me very busy, unfortunately. I understand. I've been away from my family a lot since I have started this job. See that you're making it good, like, you know, you're not saying, like, offending anyone, and so nobody will suspect you. At least that's, that's what I think. I, I don't know. I never planned a murder, okay? Okay, that, that's a new thing to me. I need to learn. You are here now, and I'm sure you're eager to meet with the others. Your father is in the library on your left, and your mother is in the parlor, which is on your right. Your sister is upstairs in her room, I think. Where can I find you, my pretty? I see why why being so fancy? Just thank you. Thank you for your help, Sophia. You're very welcome, Mr. Aaron. I will be in the kitchen preparing dinner. I'll sound the bell when dinner is served. Amazing. Now I can move. Okay. Uh Wanna check on this? Oh, you <laughs> you used to believe that it would ever stop taking time itself might stop moving. Huh. So Okay, so it's just a stable. Oh, I'm in the kitchen now? Walking through the pantry, begin to salivate at the promising scent of roast beef coming from the kitchen beyond. You find nothing in the drawers. On top of the cabinet, however, is a blue book smell rat poison. Do I want to use poison? I could get in the kitchen while Sophie wouldn't see, like, I could... Oh, that's how I know that would be my sister. Wait. I think I will leave it for now. Um, sharp kitchen knife. But she will see that she is... Uh, that it's missing. She will know that. Way too good. Oh my goodness, what happened? The flashback? I... I don't know. Of course you do. Use the hair for once, boy. Grey Uncle Thomas? <sighs> what initials do you see on that silver war? CB. And what kind of half wit spots Thomas with a C? I don't know. Well, I do. It's the kind of half wit that's standing next to me. Damn, I'm not surprised he doesn't like his family. Now, which of your ancestors owned that silver chalice? If you get this one wrong, there will be serious consequences, boy. How is. Why is this even important for the cat's sake? Um. I'll say one thing for my father. His self pardoning has always been consistent. How? Why would anyone care for that? Like, really? Uh, going down. Oh! The lunchroom is next door and beyond that, the servants' quarters. Well. Is there something I could take? I guess here? No. Nah. 
Can I get inside? Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. I sure you want to take the broken glass. Yeah, because you would frame it on the maid that would take a mirror. Wow. Well, I don't know. That's just an idea I have. Um, hello, George. Can we talk? Hello, sir. What can I do for you? You seem quite distressed about something. I do. Well, I'm sure it's nothing you should trouble yourself with, sir. Your concerts are my concerts. We've known each other many years. If something's troubling you, I want to hear about it. If you insist, sir. Ever since the new maid arrived, I feel like I'm being nudged towards early retirement. She is obviously being trained to become the new housekeeper. She's taking over my responsibilities one by one. I have tried discussing the matter with your the matter with your mother, but it's no use. She hasn't been herself lately either. Well please don't trouble yourself, last sir. I probably shouldn't have said anything at all. So this new maid is something of a bully then? She didn't seem that way to me. She is supple in her ways. But mark my words, she wants to be running this house. Perhaps it's not a coincidence that your sister's mental health has become worse since Sophia. Yeah, we're gonna frame the. frame, frame Sophia so badly. Yeah, yeah. Good. I haven't seen anything now of the ordinary yet, but I have my suspicions. She's as cold and heartless a woman as they've ever known. I should say no more. Please excuse me, sir. Well, that's something. You wouldn't be surprised if we frame if we say Sophia did the thing. Let's go and talk with our mother. It's our mother, right? Or maybe sister. I see you made it, Dara. Forgive me if I don't. No, it's mother. Don't stand your mistress has almost given me a heart attack. Or I don't know. I think. I mean, she's got gray hair. Yeah, mother, okay. <clears throat> Please sit down if you want to talk properly, Aran. There's nowhere to sit down. I want to crane my neck looking up at you. We're here. I don't know, game! You're making it hard for me! Okay. Okay. The diary, the diary. Again, the boy invites me to stand to dinner, it seems. This game is really cool. Sophia, could you come here a moment? Yes, ma'am. Pour me some wine. Yes, ma'am. But, madame, oh, what is it, George? I must protest, it has always been my duty to pour the wine at the dinner. Oh, well, I don't want to cause any trouble. Nonsense. What does it matter, George? Stop being overly pedantic. Come on, let George pour the wine. Just let him pour the damn wine, which you? It's his job. You stay out of it, boy. If your mother wants the girl to pour the damn wine, then the girl will pour the damn wine. Of course, sir, my apologies. But he will see I standing for him. An interfering little rat, isn't he, daddy? What's the damn family? I'm not surprised he wants to kill uh, the sister. Yes, he is. 
We can shave or keep your mouth shut, boy. No, no, don't lose your temper, father. I show you things. Get over here. Malcolm, please let's not permit his behavior to ruin dinner. You can count your lucky stars, boy. Sophia, could you come here, please? Yes, Miss Jennifer? I just wanted to say that was the lowest smell I've ever tasted. I know how you do it, you cunning pixie. You are too kind, miss. Of course I'll have tea and cakes for you in the drawing room as usual after dinner. Oh, you're so good to me, you sweet thing. So very, very good to me. Now for me, I'm full. Oh, bitch! Right? That's why and why we are here? Alright. You're so dear to us, Malcolm. Happy birthday, Daddy. Indeed, happy birthday, Father. Let's hope it will be one to remember. Now it's the time to quickly pan any items of evidence you have. To do so, simply enter the desired room and select the item in your inventory. When you are ready, enter the drawing room to do the deed. But where do I, where do I pick it? You know what I will do. Oh no, no, no! I here. Okay, good. They tell me that Jennifer's conditions likely to only get worse. I don't know how I can go on this way. Some that wish she had never been born. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But well, we shall see. George seems to be busy sorting through it. Uh, okay. And now let's do the deed. Yes. You see, Jennifer is starting now a window ahead of you, lost in one of her strange moods. She hasn't noticed you entered the drawing room. Now is the time. Your sister cries out in surprise as you grab her from behind and you quickly muffle the cries with one hand before pressing the shower of broken glass against her throat. She struggles violently and you kill her throat open, but you manage to hold her in place until finally she goes limp. You drop her lifeless body to the ground along with a broken glass. It's time to leave this room before you, your deed is discovered. room so what did I what happened did I do well good evening everyone I'm chief inspector Winston Levis understand that this is a difficult time for your family you damn right it is I don't know what you're doing wasting time in here while my daughter's killer is still out there. Well, Mr. Bruce, we have found no evidence of forced entry and nobody was seen entering or leaving the house. It would seem entirely possible then that the killer is in this room. What? No! That's... That seems highly unlikely, Inspector. Perhaps it is, however, in order to follow protocol, I will have to interview each of you in turn. Miss Bruce, would you like to meet me in the library first? I, I suppose so. Is 
so now it's me thank you for joining me here oh my god that's so oh so exciting i i know i know i murder is a very bad thing but the game is exciting guys not the murder okay sure well i don't have anything on me Now that's out of the way, let's move on to the interview. I have already spoken to everyone else who is present in the house at the time of your sister's death. We have also now completed our initial search of the house, but we'll get to that later. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? First of all, we will run through all of your activists since your arrival. The maid says that you and the butler arrived shortly after 7 o'clock and she greeted you at the door. I know that you did not stop to chat with either of your parents when you arrived, which strikes- Oh, that was- that was a mistake. Strikes me as a very peculiar indeed. It makes me wonder what else you were doing that was so important. Let's discuss your conversation with the butler. And as you spoke about the new maid, Sophia, the butler seems to have some concerns about her. Tell me the new maid is a bully. I see, interesting. Did you speak to your sister before dinner? No, I didn't speak to Jennifer until dinner. Very well then. Let's move on to the events that took place during dinner. As there was an argument involving the butter, he thought he was being treated unfairly. My fellow was treated servants poorly. Someone has to stand up for the servants around here. My family treats them like dear. Indeed, it was good of you to do so, Mr. Rose. I could have let your father rather lost his temper at one point. My behavior gave him cause to get annoyed. I confess I was probably the cause of that. I was trying to intentionally to irritate you. Oh, no. Now I need to ask certain your location at the time of your sister's death. Where were you when you hear the maid scream? Year, wasn't it? I was, yeah. I don't know if it's for your, I think it's father. Ah, yes, your mother mentioned we're in there with her. As I said earlier, we have completed our initial search of the property. During the search, we discovered some pages from my mother's diary. It seems that she was having a hard time dealing with your sister's condition. In some places, she even seems to wish for her death. Does that surprise you? Yes. I'm lost for words. I'm curious about the murder weapon. The broken glass seems to have come from one of your sister's mirrors. We found the rest of it in the maid's room. We have established that you have been to the servant quarters this evening. However, we can rule out suicide, especially given your sister's mental condition and her obsession with mirrors. It is all very interesting. I will affect things so badly that they don't have idea what's happening. I'll be completely honest with you now, Mr. Bros. While some of your behavior this evening has been peculiar, I can find no cause for any significant suspicion. I also think the evidence surrounding the May might be worth another look. I think I'll also be taking another look at the evidence surrounding your mother. Now as for what happens next. You can go for now, but I would appreciate it if you did not leave town. I may have more questions for you later. I think another interview with the maid will be required also. I will need to be speaking to your mother again. Thank you. So I did it! Although the inspector harbors suspicions about you, you are not brought in for further questioning. Sophia the maid was taken in for questioning and initially became the prime suspect, but was determined that there was no sufficient evidence to lead to an arrest. You gone away with murder, it seemed. However, you had not given them sufficient reason to suspect anyone else either, and your father harbored suspicions of his own. Some years later, you were surprised to see his obituary in a national newspaper and horrified to learn that he had given his estate and possessions to a trust organization. God damn it! 
he had committed this full act for nothing. And now there was nothing at all to give you cover in the long night when the demons of your past come to haunt you. So we gotta do it the way that they can figure out what is happening. Uh, well, I think that was it. Did. If you like it, you should try some of your own. You fall. You should try playing it by yourself. It's like it's it's a really good game. It's a really neatly made game. A little bit sharp, but I guess you can play it uh, multiple times. Will I get back to this game and try to get it? Say maybe. I don't know. But for now, that's all about the deed. Thanks you for watching us. See you very soon.